This is the only video that you need to watch on YouTube to upload your files directly from the React app to Cloudflare. This is a beginner friendly video, so let's get started. I have already created this React application named with upload link. Inside this SRC, I have this app.js where I have written two lines of code where these divs are just for UI purpose. The most important thing is this input field. This input field is of type file because we need to upload images from this input. And I have this on change event here and this will take this function and this function is currently doing nothing. Since my application is running, we can check this in our browser. Currently, my application is looking like this, where I have this choose file button. By clicking on it, I can choose any image from here and I can open it and nothing will happen because we have not written any logic for it. You can see in this input tag, I have this on change event where this function is running. So if you have already worked with input tags in React, you may know that for taking any text value from this input tag, we used to write event.target.value. But since these are images, so we need to write event.target.files. So let us store this in one variable, name as file. And we will also console this to check what we will get inside it. So let's go in our application again. So let's choose one file from here. Let's choose this Pani Puri image and click on this button open. And you can see this thing has been consoled. That means event.target.files has been consoled here. This thing is nothing but file list. This file list is nothing but an array of different files. Since we have uploaded only one image, so it is at zeroth index. So in this video, we are only going to upload one image at a time. So what we can do, since this is an array, we can take the zeroth index. So next time when we will upload this image, we will not get array of objects, we will get only one object. So as you can see, we got this object only, which is our zeroth indexed object from this array. Now we need to send this image in Cloudlary. So how can we do that? To do that, you need to first have an account in Cloudlary.com. So what you can do, you can search here Cloudlary and you can go with this first link here. And from here, click here for sign up for free. Now you can sign up with your Google account. Choose your Google account and click here continue. After that, you will be landed here. You can click here skip. Then you will be landed here in getting started page. But you need to go on this setting here first. Go to this upload. Now from here, this thing is important which is upload preset. You need to enable on-site uploading plugin. Click on it and it will be enabled. Now click on this button add upload preset. From here you can name anything your preset name. And after that you need to click on this signing mode to unsigned. Now you can save it by clicking on this button save. Now you can see first time using Cloudinary. This is a preset. I have created right now and it is unsigned me. If you have done this, you are good to go. Coming back to VS Code, we can handle one error from here. Suppose if the user has clicked on this button, uh, choose file and he, he has also chosen one file but he did not open it. He clicked on this button cancel. So you can see undefined has been consoled. That means this file is undefined. So we can handle this if the file is undefined or file is null or if nothing is chosen in the file. So what you can do, you can return from this function. Do nothing, just return from this function. And if user has click on the button open, now you can do rest of the things. Now since these images are saved in binary data, you cannot directly send these images directly to the backend server like Node.js or any of your other backend application. You need to use form data here. So how to use it? You can write const data equals to new form data. So this form data is a constructor function and you have to use it like this with this new keyword. Now you need to append your file here. So we can write data.append. We are using this data and we are appending here. What we need to append? We need to append file. This will take the things in key value pair. So this is my key. So file is my key and comma this file is my value. You can see this file, I am providing it here directly. And this file is what Cloudinary expect us to 
sent. So this key name is fixed. You need to send file only so that Cloudinary will understand. Yes, this is the image that need to be uploaded. With that, you need to send two more things, which is data dot append upload preset. Now, from where you will get this upload preset, you can come to your Cloudinary. And just now we created this upload preset here. So this name, you can see this name is our upload preset name. You can copy this from here and you can paste it like this. It will take one more thing, which is cloud. So you need to write data dot puppet cloud name. Now from where you will get this cloud name, you need to go in this API keys and you can see this is your cloud name. So you can copy this and you can paste here. So now you can make a fetch request here. So we can also make this function as async. So we can take the advantage of await as so let's write await fetch. Now to fetch anything we need a API endpoint. So from where you will get that API endpoint, you can go in the browser and search for cloudinary API based URL. And you can go with this first link and here you will get this API endpoint you can copy this paste it here and so here it is clearly mentioned that replace this cloud name with your actual cloud name so we have our cloud name so this is our cloud name you can copy this and replace this with your cloud name Next, we will write method as post. Uploading images will always be a post request. Now you can provide body. And in this body, you can give this data. Let us save this into one variable. Const response equals to await fetch. So we are converting this response in JSON format and we are storing it into this variable and we are now going to console it. So let's see. So we have an error. Form data is not defined. Line number 10. Okay, spelling is wrong. We have ORG. Now map is running successfully. Now we will click on this choose file button and let's upload this samosa image and click here open. So you can see we got this thing as the response. This is our this upload image URL. To get exact URL you need to write dot URL from here. So you need to write here dot URL. Let us remove this console for now. Now we will choose one more image. Let us choose this fresh Jalebi image and we will click on this button open. And you can see we got this URL from here. If you will click on this URL, you can see your image has been uploaded in cloudmail.com. So this is how you can upload your images. But you can also notice one thing, the UI here, the user is not getting any indication that my file is uploading or not. So to do that, you can take one uh, state from here const loading set loading new state and currently this will be false here we can make set loading to true and after all these things has done we can make set loading to false again and instead of this images, we can do if loading is true, then show uploading, otherwise show this image. So with all this, let us upload one more image. Let us upload this dosa image and we can click on the button open. You can see loading. Uh, text has been shown now since it is loaded again this icon is shown and you can see uh, now you can send this URL the URL that you have got here you can send this URL this upload image URL dot URL to any of the backend or you are, if you are using JSON server you can store it in some of the variable there so you can access later 
So this is how you can upload images to Cloud Mini. So if you will go and check in Cloud Mini, click on this button Programmable Media. You can click on this Media Library, and here you can see all the images that we have uploaded. This was the images which has uploaded by default Cloud Mini, and this is the images that you have uploaded. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like this explanation, you can subscribe to this channel for more such as videos. If you have any doubt, please mention in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much.